Actors dream of being cast in a successful blockbuster, and for some, it happens at an early age. It can be difficult to be taken seriously afterwards as nostalgia can lead to typecasting or worse, losing roles in fear of the audience's distraction with a beloved character association. Here are some child actors who left the industry behind. Danny Lloyd The haunting performance of Danny Lloyd in Stanley Kubrick's The Shining still stands as one of the strongest by any child actor, especially given the fact that he was only six years old when it was made. According to IMDb, Lloyd would go on to make only one more movie, and who could blame him? Those creepy twins alone would be enough to scare any kid away from another movie set. A New York Daily News article from 2013 revealed that he's since grown up to be a biology teacher at a community college outside Louisville, Kentucky. Jake Lloyd He played the young Anakin Skywalker in the feverishly anticipated Star Wars The Phantom Menace. But Jake Lloyd's performance got lumped into the overall fan disappointment when the film didn't live up to expectations. He's had a few other film credits, but apparently the misery inflicted by his negative Star Wars experience was enough to make him quit acting in 2001. What about with the ladies? Do you get recognized a lot? Has it helped being the young Anakin? I don't think pulling the Force card would be a really good idea with the ladies. Since then, he's had a few run-ins with the law and it was revealed in 2016 that he suffers from schizophrenia. Ariana Richards A working child actor for six years, Ariana Richards didn't gain widespread notoriety until she starred in Jurassic Park. Never taking another large studio role, she chose to study drama and art at Skidmore College in New York and the Art Center College of Design in California. She's since become a successful portrait painter. After a 12-year hiatus from acting, however, she starred in the TV movie Battle Dogs, which is all about werewolves on the loose in New York City. Elan Mitchell-Smith He's not Anthony Michael Hall, so you may not remember Elan Mitchell-Smith, Hall's co-star from the 80s hit Weird Science. After that movie's success, Mitchell Smith went on to a few small roles before throwing in the towel to pursue his love of medieval studies. He's since become an assistant professor in the English department at California State University, Long Beach, with no regrets. Okay, maybe one regret. By the way, why are we wearing bras on our heads? Ceremonial. Jeff Cohen. Okay, I'll talk. <laughs> in third grade, I cheated on my history exam. In fourth grade, I stole my Uncle Max's toupee and I glued it on my face when I played Moses in my Hebrew school play. Being Chunk in The Goonies was probably cool for Jeff Cohen for exactly five minutes until the first time a stranger yelled, Do the truffle shuffle. Come on! Do it! That might be why Cohen went to college and became an entertainment lawyer. Now, if someone says Goonies never say die when he's trying to have a nice meal with his family, he knows the exact type of copyright lawsuit to threaten them with. You win, Chunk! Thanks for watching! Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know which former child actors you've been wondering about.